Hey everybody, what's up? Glad you are with us. Hey, service is gonna start in just a few moments. So go ahead, go get your coffee, get ready. We have a great service plan just for you. Pastor Tom's in the house, it's gonna be great. See you in a few. Hey everybody, what's up? Glad you are with us. Hey, service is gonna start in just a few moments. So go ahead, go get your coffee, get ready. We have a great service plan just for you. Pastor Tom's in the house, it's gonna be great. See you in a few. Hey everybody, what's up? Glad you are with us. Hey, service is gonna start in just a few moments. So go ahead, go get your coffee, get ready. We have a great service plan just for you. Pastor Tom's in the house, it's gonna be great. See you in a few. Hey guys, welcome to the garden at home. Hey, we're glad you guys are safe and you're warm. Hey, we got a great service plan for you guys. Pastor Tom has a great message for us to be very encouraging. And then after the message, stick around. We got some worship. It's going to be great. Hey, we love you guys. We'll see you guys at the end of the service. Well, good morning, everybody. I want to thank you for taking time out of this crazy day to meet me here and join me here on the last day of our fast of all things uh, to have this storm come in and uh, just glad that you're home and you're safe and uh, God's still on the throne. So just a couple of things, just a couple of reminders before I give you a little word, but uh, one, this is the 21st. This is the last day of the fast. So in reality, uh, you, you know, like if you hear sizzling in the background, that's probably meat or something getting cooked or, or I don't know, maybe we're toasting bread. I don't know what we're doing, but it has been an amazing 21 day of fasting and communion. And for all of you who have participated with us, I just want to say thank you so much because uh, you have no idea the amount of uh, testimonies and reports that have come in this year beyond any other year. It's just been an amazing time. And the people who have participated have really moved themselves and we as a body the the unity in, at the seven o'clock communion times when we were able you know there were a couple of cancellations but the rest of the time the unity was amazing i really enjoy it god is really speaking he's really changing lives and so way to go garden family uh you know it's, it's just been awesome to be a part of that and it's awesome to think about the fact that it's kind of coming to a close. Uh, there are certain things that you picked up during the prayer and fast time that you don't want to move away from. Keep them going as long as you can. And uh, uh, because just remember, the Bible teaches us that as we draw near to God, God draws near to us. And, and you know, it's like us continuing to move our heart and our mind towards God. And it's a, it's a different sound. Like if we defined your life, 
before the fast and then to find it after the fast, your life should sound different. It should, it should, it should just be a different sound. And that's, that's a door for 24 that as God's doing a new thing, every new thing God does requires a new sound, which segues right into the scripture I want to share with you this morning. And just remember that uh, in services, you know, we've been talking about Elijah and uh, he's going up and calling out the prophets of Baal and, and uh, uh, he's called fire down from heaven and uh, the fires consume the altar and the sacrifice and the water and even the rocks and everything's been sucked up in the fire and the people that had moved away from God were on their face before God saying, the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. And a lot of times we think, wow, what a move of God. You know, that's what we need. But that was the introduction to what God actually wanted to do. Uh, so God wanted to send the fire to turn the hearts of his people back to him. But really what he wanted was to reign on the nation that was in desperate need. And in order to reign on the nation, he had to get his people's heart back to him first. So we've been in this fast. And there's a lot of people who are finding themselves as, as they were on their knees before God saying, the Lord he is God, the Lord he is God. And listen to what he said, 1 Kings 18, 41, Elijah said to Ahab, go up, eat, drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. And, and, and I want to read it to you this way, because the people are on their face. They are crying out, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he has got, before they had been conflicted, they'd been compromised and, and uh, they were worshiping other things. They were looking to other sources to provide them with uh, everything that they longed for in life. But this day they had changed their sound, right? So they moved to God and, and it changed the sound. And then Elijah said, there's the sound of abundance of rain. As they are crying out, the Lord, he is God. Hey, there's the sound we've been looking for. There's the sound that will uh, in, empower us as a body to ask God for rain and watch him pour out on all flesh. There's the sound. And I just want to encourage you today that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, one, God is our source. God's going to come through for you. God's going to send the fire. But you have to make sure that you're on your face every day, every day. You know, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Because that's a different sound than a 1.4 times a month making a 35-minute connection to God. It's like change, change the sound and watch what God can do. Because every time God does something new, it requires a new sound. There's a new season, a new sound, and we get it. God's leading us into a new season. Okay, but now how do we get the door to open? We change our sound. So I just want to really encourage you and, and compliment you, especially if you participated in the fast. What a way to go. And maybe, maybe you didn't do anything during the first 21 days. Uh, can I encourage you? Start today. Just decide today, I'm going to set time aside every single day. When Jesus was teaching the disciples to pray, and he's, he's reminding them that, man, we have to hallow the name of our Father. Hallowed be thy name. Every single day, our Father, don't pray like a slave, pray like a son, and come into his presence wearing the robe of royalty and, and be seen in the same status as Jesus himself. And, 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 and Father, you, let your name be number one in my life. Lord, you are my God. You are my God. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Let your kingdom come. Let it be in my life and in my house and in our church and our community, just like it is in heaven. The things we see in heaven, we want to manifest those things here on earth and give us this day, our daily bread. So yes, every day that we come and say, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. You know, just a couple of encouraging thoughts. One is that for most of us, it doesn't take much to change the sound of our life. It's, it's not a huge shift. But do you, do you realize how awesome of a shift it would be, how great of a transition it would be if we as a body suddenly Every day said, God, you're in control. 
The Lord, he is our God. If we just started the day, if everybody in the house started their day with the Lord, he is God. And that became the defining sound of the house. It would change everything. How easy would it be for us to change the sound and watch the rain begin to fall? One more thought is that Elijah prayed one time for fire. He prayed seven times for rain. And he, you know, I, I just kind of wonder how many of us would have maybe moved on to something else after two times or three times, going to God, asking God for something he told us to ask him for, and it not happening immediately. And so we just move on. Because when God does something, he births it, you know, in, in creation. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. One, one of the definitions of those words is bearing. And the Holy Spirit hovered or brooded over it. it it's like, uh, why? Because God's getting ready to birth a new thing. Uh, he's going to birth a new thing when uh, Sarah and Abraham, you know, they, they're, he's, he's changing the world. They're going to birth it. Uh, when Jesus comes to earth, he has to be birthed. When, when God's going to do a new thing, Isaiah 54 says, sing, O barren, sing, break forth in a sing. Break forth is a birthing term. God's going to birth a new thing. How many of us, if we went to God, ask him for what we felt he told us to ask for, the rain on the nations. Uh, after a couple of times, we abort what God's trying to birth. Don't give up so quickly. Be be willing and ready to, to travail. Jesus was when he's talking about prayer, he mentioned to the guys, it's like when a woman is giving birth to a child and she goes through this travail and there's a there's this season of pain, but the pain isn't remembered as soon as the baby's born. And what God's getting ready to do in your life, you might have to be willing to uh, say, the Lord, he is God several days in a row before it comes to pass. It might be hard. It might be, there might be challenges, but those aren't, What's going to be remembered when the new thing is birthed in our life? The Lord, he is God. We can create the sound of abundance of rain. And if we do it together, we're going to see our entire city, our entire region. Definitely each and every one of our homes are going to be impacted. And it's going to be an amazing thing. So I just want to encourage you today. Let's make a new sound so that God can do a new thing. The Lord, he is God. There. Is the sound of abundance of rain. Just before I pray for you, I, w- I just want to remind you that, uh, you know, when when we move into this new thing and all of this that we picked up during 21 days of prayer and fasting, if we, as much of that as you can continue, it's going to be best for you. It's going to be best for you. Now, we just have this tendency of taking two or three steps forward and then sliding back slowly through the year. Let's try to hold each other accountable and say, okay, you you know, maybe you don't have to fast the rest of the year, but maybe you you set a uh, schedule and, you know, hey, one day a week, one meal a week, what, you know, and do something that, uh, that makes the future a little different from the past. Because, you know, what they say about insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So let's be different. Let's be new. Let's have a new sound. Let's go into this year sounding like people who are calling down rain, not not just to refresh ourselves, but to see our community touched by the presence of God and the hand of God. I want to pray for you real quick. And Father, I just come right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you that you are doing a new thing in our life. Father, that everything that you have said has come to pass, just like you said it would. And now you are declaring a new thing. So we will be a people that sing a new song unto our God. We sing a new song to the Lord. And we say, the Lord, he is God. There is the sound of abundance of rain. Father, I just thank you for all these people. I thank you for the fact that your hand of protection is upon them. Cause this day to be a tremendous blessing in their life as we continue to serve you in the mighty name of Jesus. We say amen. And in just a second, they're going to put some giving information up on the screen. Can I just tell you how much we appreciate your consistent financial support, uh, the the fact that you come and you serve and and, 
you give of yourself and you know we're, we're making a difference but we couldn't do it without you and we just want you to know how much we appreciate it as you honor god that also honors us and we just really are very very grateful i appreciate your time today uh sorry we didn't get to be together today we had big plans uh, but you know what? We'll just reschedule. We'll do some stuff later. And I look forward to being with you. And uh, maybe next time we have family dinner, it won't just be, you know, celery. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Have a great day. Good morning, everybody. Come on, how we doing? Come on, I wonder if there's some people in the house that are excited to be here this morning. Come on, do you have some joy overflowing this morning? Come on, we're here to worship. Are you here to praise? God, we praise. Come on, we invite you to stand to your feet. We're just going to press in and worship God this morning. Let's go.
Hey guys, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. We hope you guys have an amazing week. Stay safe, stay warm. We'll see you guys next week.